Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions that were asked in this company. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So these questions were shared by a subscriber who was attending interviews recently. And let us thank her before we proceed. So here we go. So I think first it all started with the SQL questions. Okay, so they tried to filter on the SQL. So let us see what are the SQL questions that were asked. So I've just created uh, all the things for you. First is like, what is a stored procedure and why do we use? So we, we need to know what is stored procedure, right? But we all might also know what is stored procedure. What, uh, in general, if I try to explain what is stored procedure, it is like a set of SQL commands that are set to execute together. Okay, so what does or how does it help us? It helps us in improving the performance because all your SQL queries are aligned at one place, right? And code reusability, which means what? You know, you different applications can use the same query even uh, though they have access or not. So that is code uh, reusability. Security, even though we might have access to the uh, the base tables or not, if you have access to the stored procedure, we can use that. So that is one purpose of security, reduced network traffic. So you will not be able to, or you might not be running direct queries again and again. So instead of that one uh, centralized query that will take care of and maintainability. If there are any changes to the query, so you don't have to change it at multiple places. So one you know, code that is enough and you can, it, that might impact all the applications like that, okay? So that is the advantages of stored procedure so example i have taken here is it uh, how we can create a procedure create a procedure i'm just creating a procedure called employee details okay in this i'm just parameterizing my value called as employee id because in future i might reference this procedure which might have the data and based on this value i might retrieve the results like say begin select employee name and salary from department name and from employee table where employee id is equal to employee id simple okay so which means what this is my value that i have parameterized now how can i call this procedure execute get employee details this is what i have given here at employee id where Employee ID is equal to 101, like that. Okay. So this is your stored procedure. Next is what is difference between union versus union all. Union means we all know, right? Removing duplicate rows from final results, right? If there are any duplicates, it will give us only distinct records. So which means performs an implicit distinct operation. Union will always give you uh, a distinct operation on that. Since it, it removes duplicates, it is slower compared to union all because we you have to find out whether a record is duplicate or not. So performance wise, if I talk, it is a little slower compared to union all. So these are the three key differences that we need to remember when we talk about union or and union all. Removes duplicate, you know, uh, performs distinct operation and because it performs a distinct operation on the data, it might be slow. Okay, so how do we write, how, how can we write select e name from employee one, union, EMP two, simple like this we can write. Okay, so I'll just uh, try to run this. Okay, next is union all. What does union all will do? It will give us the entire results. Okay, includes all rows from both the queries. It will also include duplicates. So this is a difference you need to understand. Union means no duplicates. Union all means all the records, including duplicates, including duplicates. Because it does not perform any duplicate or removal, it makes it easier and faster to run. Simple, okay? Used when you want better performance and duplicates are acceptable. In cases where duplicate is acceptable, let's say you want to handle that duplicates at some level, a calculation level, or you're doing it something different, then you can use union all query that will improve the performance. Okay, so how can we write same query instead of union, union all, this is the syntax. Okay, I hope it is clear. So now next is find the third highest salary. This is often 
many times a repeated question in interview okay so i have written one of the most easiest way you can try to write in uh, alternate ways also or other approaches and specific to this question interviewer might ask you to write in different forms like using den uh, dense rank or using with clause or using simple sql statement how do you do and all so i have written it using rank function it is most easiest and most convenient way so what do we need to do we, we just need to find out a rank for the uh, salary simply and based on that we are trying to filter the record select salary comma dense rank over order by salary as rank okay i'm calling from emp table okay so if i rank uh, run this simple i'll get rank for each of my query right now based basing on that i am just trying to filter select sal from salary rank where rank is equal to 3 simple so if when i run this it will give me only third rank here this one okay like that okay so here you can put any number so one query you learn you can do it for any rank so he ask you top first rank second rank third rank last rank whatever you want you can do it okay so if you do it by ascending you can get the maximum rank like that also so you can simply customize this query for multiple answers so that's why i have used it so if you know alternate way you can write it in the comment section so that it can help okay so now next question was in the employee table what is the highest salary of a manager again for this there are n number of ways you can write i have written it in this way the easiest and most convenient you can try to write it in uh, alternate ways if you know just comment it in the comment section let me see how many different answers we can get simple select maximum salary has highest salary from emp table where job is equal to manager so what does this will do it will just filter out the records for manager and in that it will give us the maximum salary simple okay so what is primary key any key column that is uh, like a unique identifier in your sql that will be so that is primary sql what are joins what are joins joins are used whenever you want to get data from multiple tables so we can use left join right join inner join you know outer join cross join so these are all the joins that are available in sql okay how to handle null values we can handle null values in the sql using this functions called as is null and is not null how can we write a query suppose i need data where salary is null i can simply run this and i can get records or only that where it is not null simple like the second right so we can use commission column because in commission we have uh, some null values so i can write commission okay commission is null and it will give is only null values commission is not null okay so something like this it will work here commission is not null so here we have values it is displaying that okay so you can either use is null to capture only null values or is not null to capture only uh, employees who have commission like that so you can use accordingly what is group by clause group by means what you are aggregating on a specific dimension and ag an aggregation like say it can be your count it can be your sum it can be your average whatever like say example how can i write select you know specifying the dimension you want and specifying the aggregation you want from the table group by column name because you are specifying the dimension you have to specify that column under that group by condition okay example if i take the sql here select department number comma average salary as average salary from emp table now what does this give you know if you know comment it in the comment section it will give us the average salary per department here right Sim same thing if i try to write department number comma count of star as employee count from emp what does this give again you can write it in the comment section these are very interesting questions this might come up or pop up in your interview so we need to know the answers as well as the questions so this will give us count of employees per each department like how here he, he asked a simple question what is the maximum salary for a manager in employee table the question might sound like this so we need to frame a statement here same thing here 
for each department it is giving us how many employees are there if he is asking you how many employees are there per department then you have to write this kind of queries okay so i've just taken two random examples just to explain you what is difference between where and having class so technically speaking both where and having are used to filter the records that is the base purpose but how one is before aggregating second one is after aggregating that is we need to understand both work at different stages of query execution now suppose this query is the select employee department number cell from emp where cell is greater than this thing now what is happening here employees are filtering before grouping because there is no group by only actual right so they are directly getting filtered but whereas if you observe this select department number comma average salary as employee for from employee table group by department number having average salary greater than 5000 which means we are specifying multiple conditions here what first we are doing a group by on department number and trying to find average salary right so first it will do a group by so first groups employees by department number and it try to find average salary and again on top of that we are using this average salary and applying another filter greater than 5000 which means only those departments whose salary is greater than average salary that employees will come simple like this we can run there are no employees okay so this were the questions that were asked in sql so once this was done he went on to tableau here so what is context filter okay context filter is what is a filter on a filtered data simple dimension and measure dimension means what something that is textual in nature okay measure means numeric in nature textual cannot be aggregated like your name your location your category all those are dimensions they create headers this will measure will create access this can be aggregated like your sum of salary you know count of salaries like that okay all of these are i mean difference between dimension and measure explain about your project what is the project you are working on what is the client you are working for what is the problem statement all of that we have to talk in this case okay explain kpi you have created in your project so any metric that you have created in your project as a part of requirement all those come under kpis okay how do you choose to two uh, how, sorry how do you choose chart when two columns need to be selected from different data sources so here i need to bring in data from two different data sources right two columns from two different data sources how do you do so first we need to understand the cardinality like what is the relationship between these two tables how or what is the expectation from the client based on that we can decide how we want to pursue this okay so i i hope this video has helped you that's it from my side in this video if any questions you can reach out to me or you can write it in the comment section i hope uh, i i will check you know if i can answer that see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day